All right, Alicia, you ready? I'm on. You guys ready. ready to do it? Let's do it. Let's go. Canada. Let's do it. Yay! Let's do it. We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, this one's super duper special. We're going to take you to a road that splits the United States and Canada. That's right, this one is super remarkable. And I could not believe it when we heard about it and we said, let's get up there. That's right, one side of the street is in Canada. The other side of the street is in the United States of America. We're going to show you a library that's split between the two countries homes and apartments that are split between the two countries and so much more. So if you haven't, please subscribe. It would mean so much to us to grow this channel. Hit that like button. That would mean a lot to grow this video. And thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. Look at Aliche having fun right there in the middle of the street. And uh, no question about it, this was a cool place. This is where you entered into Canada from the United States. And from the sky, we're going to take you to Northern Vermont. Vermont, that's right, where it crosses the border. And as you can see here, this is the area. All right, here we are, getting ready to cross over into Canada, folks. And there's the United right. States Custom and Immigration. The Canadian United States border is gigantic. There's areas like this that are on streams where it just goes back and forth and it's crazy. There's areas like this where your child could play with the Canadian in the backyard. That's right, right next to each other. But believe it or not, this is one monster border and down the road in Northern Vermont, that's right, you can cross over and this particular area here has all kinds of bizarre border areas. That's right, we're gonna go through each one of them. And where are we at? We're way, way, way north of Boston and New York and the border between Canada and the United States is the longest international border in the world. That's right, folks, this is a monster border. We're gonna even show you some buildings, libraries that the border goes right straight through the middle. Can you believe that? And believe it or not, we're gonna take you there and walk you around and show you these places it is super cool, including this famous Haskell Free Library and the road that we're going to be on right now. And they're allowing us to go through. We're heading across. And here is the road that splits the United States with Canada. This is awesome. All right, what do you got there, Alicia? What do you got to do to cross this border here? So it's very easy, but it's an app. I can show you how it looks like. It's this one here is called Arrive Can. Arrive Can. So you load your information as far as passport and vaccination for COVID already in the app. And then there is another step that is that you allow you to decide, form, fill up a form, and you allow it to decide which location you are going to cross the border and what time. Okay. So we had an appointment for 11 a.m. on the 29th at Stansted BB. So we know exactly where to go, and now here we are. That's awesome. Little bitty town here, and uh, we're super excited about it. We picked this crossing because we're going to go on the only road that is actually split between the United States and Canada, and we're going to check that out in a minute once yeah. we cross the border. Let's go and check it out. Let's do it. This house actually splits the border. Here comes Aliche in the Grand Wagoneer. Hey, Aliche! Here we are in the village of Stansted, Canada. And believe it or not, every house over here is Canadian. And here's the main street. And believe it or not, Aliche is in the United States of America. Yes, I'm in Vermont right now. So this is the only street in the United States and Canadian border that actually splits the border. And that's right, folks, Canada and the United States of America. All right, Aliche, what are you doing? Canada, Vermont. Canada, Vermont. I'm in two countries at the same time. Look at that, folks. Only here in Stansted, in Canada, and the United States of America, 
Are you ready? Let's talk to some of the locals and they can tell us what they think about this border. All right, we got Alan here. He is a local. He lives in this town that splits the USA with Canada. And what side do you live on? I live on the Canadian side. The Canadian side. I drive on the U.S. side of the, of the road to come yep. to work and I go back home on the Canadian side. That is awesome. And you were saying some people actually follow their GPS, take a ride up here and... Uh, Go past customs and what what kind of find actually, is that? Well, actually, what it is is that the, they probably stay in Newport, Vermont, and then they come to, to through the smaller uh, smaller custom because it's it's closer and it's like quicker. Yeah. And then the the GPS doesn't know custom, so it tells the person to turn. Yeah. Right to come to our place, but it doesn't know it didn't go through customs. Wow. So at five minutes later, the the police comes in, picks up the guy, brings him to the customs and charges him a thousand dollars if he wants to go home. Wow. So you're one of the few people in North America that drive to work in the USA and go home in Canada. That's yeah, pretty well, awesome. Yeah, but it's a lot of us, but most yeah. of our workers are, are Americans here. Okay. Because, that, because the closest hospital was in Newport, Vermont. So okay. our doctors would say, oh, we don't have time to go to Magog or Sherbrooke. Let's go to Newport. That's why wow. most of our workers are born in the state. Pretty awesome. So thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And go. Canada. You're confusing. Hey, I just went to U.S. Canada and Canada back to U.S. and back to Canada all within a couple of seconds right here in Stansted. That's right. Stansted, Quebec. So we had a great time on this road and Alice loved the fact that she could be standing in both countries at the same time. There's Pete, our official Tour guide uh, born in Montreal, loves Canada, and he was all excited to show us this area. But overall, we're going to move on down the road to what's called a line house. It's a building located on an international boundary where it passes through it. In the Haskell Free Library, the Opera House, that falls into that category. But so do some of these other buildings. How about this apartment complex right here, straight through the middle, so your neighbor is a Canadian, you're an American. This is so awesome. If I live in this house, my neighbors is American. But if I live in this house, my neighbors is Canadian. Hey, look at that. Pretty remarkable, huh? Yes. This house splits the border of the United States and Canada. And those are the two doors. That one is the US. That one is Canada. All right, here we are at one of the coolest libraries in the entire world. That's right, why? Because it's an international library in the true meaning that the border of the United States and Canada split the library in half. Unfortunately, right now it's appointments only because of the current situation, but I don't know if it'll ever go back to full tours because a lot of tourists come here and it is a local town library, but it is super cool. And luckily they gave us a little glimpse, but we couldn't do the full tour like we thought. And, uh, but we're gonna try to do that in the future for you, but hopefully you get to see a little bit of the rest of this area. It is so unique where the border splits Canada and the United States. Okay, let's go check it out. This is the Haskell Free Library and Opera House. Pretty famous place. It's a Victorian building that straddles the Canadian United States border on Rock Island, now part of Stansted, Quebec, and Derby Line, Vermont, respectively. The Opera House actually opened way back in 1904, and believe it or not, it was deliberately built on the international border. It was declared a heritage building by both countries back in the 70s and 80s. That's right, folks. Uh, as far as the National Register of Historic Places for the United States, 1976. And for Canada, it was designated the National Historic Site way back in 1985. So here we go. We're going to take you inside the library through the front door. You definitely have to have reservations. They didn't have time for a full tour, but they did let us have a peek, and we want to thank everybody there. Right now, it's only open to members of the library and unless you have an appointment. But here is the line that goes through the library. Super duper cool. You're definitely gonna wanna check that one out. I 
luckily, considering the situation right now, they allow only members to actually go inside and uh, you needed to book in advance to have a full tour. But we've been lucky enough to at least have a first glance of the library and we suggest everyone to always stop here because it's really cool. We did get to see a squirrel cross the border and customs were all over that little guy. He got thrown in jail. But overall, we had a great time and there are customs all over the place. And when I say all over the place, they're all over the place. But Pete took us to a famous, that's right, Canadian meal. We had the famous coleslaw. Check this out. All right, here we are in Canada. This is the traditional coleslaw or the creamy coleslaw, similar to the U.S. But both of these are way better than the U.S. What do you like better? <laughs> the traditional, to be honest. Traditional yes. there? I'll go with the creamy. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. Wow, look at that, huh, Lisa? I'm really excited. It looks good. We had a great time and a lot of fun. If you're not familiar with our channel, please check it out. We do everything from camper van videos to boat videos to side by side to campers to all kinds of cool rallies with tips and mods. We show you all kinds of different RVs in great locations like this Key West e-bike, amusement parks like Kennedy Space Center, national parks, state parks, you name it, and our sister channel, How to Have Fun Cruising. You gotta check that out. And if you wanna talk about Bazaar, take a look at this, 27 foot waves. If you like Bazaar, you like Whoa, this video, you're gonna TV. love our Bermuda Whoa. video over oh, the 13th here. floor wow. that was crazy tv shake it definitely check it out and also our secret spot in bermuda okay aliche so don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and thank you so much for watching how, how to have, have fun, fun outdoors how to have fun outdoors, outdoors. say hi to everybody buddy. <laughs>